Hello dear friends, today's lesson is going to be how to upgrade your domain controllers from Windows 2003 to Windows 2008 R2 and after that uh, be able to perform a metadata cleanup on the 2003 servers even them being offline. Uh, for this case uh, we will have three domain controllers that are Windows 2003, uh, BDC 1, 2, and 3 and two domain controllers that are uh, 2008. Uh, the job to bring them, on, them online and promote two domain controllers was already done offline so it, it won't take more, much, much more time from us here. Uh, the plan is to bring down the servers BCD1 and BCD2, bring them down Bef uh, before we do the met metadata cleanup and do the metadata cleanup uh, once it's hard off. Uh, supposing that the server has been fault, has a hardware fault and not able to be brought back. Uh, this, uh, the IP addresses of the servers we're going to reproduce on the Windows 2008 servers and this third one uh, that is also 2003 I'm going to demote it and uh, just do the method of cleaning up so this area will be able to be used as a Windows uh, domain member server instead of the main controller okay for so for the first step we're going to part off those two servers uh, on our client server that will be our uh, testing Workstation will be pinging the, the, the domain that in this name is fiasco.com.com. Sorry, uh, and uh, for the moment it's pinging the IP 230, that is the IP for BDC1. Uh, well, I'm going to power off these two, two boxes, and then after that, I'm going to reproduce the IP addresses on the two V starting VMs. Okay, let's go for it. I'm going to power off and I want to shut power it on again until the end of the lab. Okay, uh, the, our client is configured. Just to search the BDC1 and BDC2 servers. Okay, so it, it would, wouldn't be able to log in anymore, probably because it doesn't have access, to, uh, ha doesn't have the DNS entries on its uh, <coughs> Ethernet card adapter. Okay, a and I won't change that until the end of the lab. I'll still keep pinging and uh, uh, we're going to log in the remaining domain controllers, for example VDC1. Uh, because there was one task we need to do. Actually, I needed to have done it before, but well, let's hit it even with the servers being down. We open the DSA and we're going to transfer the master roles to the remaining servers. We select, oh, I apologize, being in Portuguese, mm, but it's pretty much the same. Or, uh, lines organization so we will set change the domain controller we select the, the domain controller where we are logged in and that will assume the domain master roles once we are logged in there we right click the domain and select master operations here you can see that the, re the only remaining <coughs> 2003 server uh, BDC3 uh, it's holding the our RID role, the infrastructure and PDC roles as well. Uh, we're going to change it to VDC1. Okay, now that the master roles are on VDC1. Okay, this is the first part of our of our job. Now we're going to assume the IP address of the powered down BDC1 server. 
this box is used to be the true 32 it's going to be true 31 oh I mean true 30 and the uh, address is to be the same true 30 true 31 okay now on VDC2 we're gonna do the same thing uh, the VD oops the VDC2 is going to assume the IP of BDC2 Portuguese was the only version I found to do these tests but it won't be much trouble interface is the same well we go to the network card this box is going to be 1231 it will search the 231 as a primary and the 230 secondary that's right <coughs> okay now this these two V starting servers are in place of the B starting servers however there's mu much more things to be done uh, for example if uh, in this uh, when it was substituted uh, it might have been created some uh, DNS entries to allow applications to to search for the server of the old server so if there is some uh, trash back uh, it must have been cleaned up such as PTRs, DNS entries, host entries, etc. on DNS console it can be found on DNS here on for lookup zone as we see as also this is a test uh, environment we won't have any of those here uh, but if if there would be some static addresses here uh, assigned to the same IP address as the old domain controllers they should be also deleted uh, going for the metadata cleanup we go back to the DSA uh, ADUC Oops. Uh, as we shut down the servers they of course would still appear here and uh, the activity I'm going to do now is the metadata cleanup uh, by right clicking on it and clicking delete and here in Portuguese is clear uh, it, it needs a confirmation that we are deleting it and also a double confirmation because this is particularly a domain controller uh, this checkbox states that we know that this domain controller is going to be permanently offline and, and won't be able to be demoted to with the DC promo command okay we may check this box and do the exclusion also for the BDC2 now BDC3 we may just uh, leave as is uh, or we can also power it off well uh, let's remove it from being a domain controller Mm. Okay, this screen shows uh, uh, that there is still one operations manager that is hosted on this server. I believe it was the schema master. Well, uh, yeah, this was not the uh, movie before, but with the confirmation here, I'm able to, to with just hitting the OK, uh, I will transfer it. The net, to the other remaining server in case VDC2. 
okay now we have only two domain controllers the client server is already able to ping the domain now I will just perform um, a reboot on this client to ensure it's able it will be able to log in back again to the same domain Here is insert the name administrator that is the current user of this server that I was logged in before and the password I set. And here we go, uh, just insert the password. Normally, everything is working fine after the metadata cleanup.